hello friends so today we will be learning about some some programs and how to do how to reverse a string using java so here uh, we will quickly see uh, the logic and we will implement the logic as well uh, so let's say we have a string of uh, first uh, first uh, create the main method okay now uh, so what is our requirement is like I have to reverse one string reverse is means like uh, let's say there is a string uh, string of let's say word is like um, any word you can take let's say it's uh, wonderful okay so um, sorry Just so there is a word wonderful and now I have to reverse it so it's it would be uh, the reverse word would be something like this L U F E R D N O W right so this is the reverse word if we reverse it right no w would be capital right because this is similar this is just like a mirror image if you put the put this in the middle this will be the mirror reflex like uh, from this uh, it's not like the uh, it's will be the like horizontal mirror something like this okay so now what would be the logic for this so first we need to uh, take the length of this word so what is the length of this word the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 characters are there so how do we find it using the length method of string class so let's do that let's find the length word dot length so we will store it in variable length of word okay but uh, it is giving error because we have not assigned it to any data type so let's put the data type of integer right now we got the length so length of is nine character or eight character whatever now we have to loop through it okay and what we will do we will just uh, go here in the last index and we will fetch one character at a time so first we will fetch the L and put it in a empty variable and then and add the okay, another uh, concatenate in the next character to it like this we will do till the first character so how can I do it so we will use we'll, first we have to take a blank variable where we will store this thing so let's say this is my blank variable and now I will look through it so integer uh, integer uh, let's say count equals to what is the count number don't say I because I is like uh, it's, it doesn't look good to mention like I J K something like that use always one word okay one meaningful word so here I is the counter so we will make it as count okay and so counter equals to one no sorry counter equals to our length of the word right so the last character of the position of the last character so the position of the last character is always the number of characters or length of the character length of the word minus one because uh, it starts from zero because w is it zeroth index so if this is the ninth character then it would be eight uh, i mean as per the java rule it would be eight right so we have to mention it as length of the character minus one and then uh, what we will do we will check whether count uh, till which uh, character we will be looping through it would be like it starts from the last one and till the first character so the first character is zero so it should be 
zero, right? Till zero, greater than zero, greater than equals to zero. And the next parameter, this is the for loop. Simply we know that i minus minus. Okay. Now. Okay, sorry. Um, it's not i. It's count. So count minus minus. So now, uh, so we have this reverse word. So we'll take it here and equals to reverse word plus uh, word dot care at this count. Or we can say instead of count, we can mention index because it, it looks more meaningful to me. And this i also comes from the index word, I think. Yeah. Mm. Now we will print the reverse of the word, right? So to do that, uh, reverse of word is Right. So let me run the program. So whether it's working or not, let's see it. So L is the last word. U F R E D. Now, right. So I think it's working fine. Right. Okay. Uh, so it's 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 one way to do it. I hope you have understood what is this thing is doing. I have explained to you. This is the care at is inbuilt method. What it is doing? It is returning the care value at the specified index. So it's returning like the word dot care at index index of let's say this is nine minus one eight. So eight of word eighth index of this word is l so it will just put zero uh, this reverse word is nothing so just empty string right empty plus one l so like this it will go up first it will take l then l plus u uh, e l u then l u f then l u r like this it will just iterate over okay now the next uh, there is another way to do it using the string builder or string buffer class so uh, we will use the string builder because it's first better than a string buffer because string buffer is quite older so uh, we will uh, take how can I take help of this string builder class so what we will do we will create a method first or something like that like um, let's say it's public static uh, return string and it will uh, string string and uh, reverse Okay, so string my string I'm creating a new object from the string builder class 
and what I will do I will put this string here so this is the string which I will be passing here this this I will be passing from this main method okay uh, to get the reverse string so I got this now the string builder okay now you might have a question maybe like why I am okay no uh, I have not I have not come to it yet so what I will do here my string dot reverse right and so what it is returning it is returning a string builder right so string builder and uh, I have to return a string so how to convert it to from string builder to string I think can you cast it back so um, do it here like this something like that and string dot value of value of no Okay, so uh, what I'm doing here, it's like I'm creating a object from my string builder, the string builder class, and I'm uh, giving this uh, to this constructor, the string, um, the string which I'm getting from here, the, from the main method. Let's I'll be calling it uh, just few after a few minutes. Uh, okay, just let me explain, and then returning uh, to this uh, my string dot reverse. Okay. And, and this is just I'm parsing it to the string because this is returning my string builder right string builder reference so we cannot just return it I'm, I'm returning a string mm -hmm. okay and now uh, you, you can see I have a direct method right I didn't build method reverse but in this uh, if I'm doing with only the string it is not possible because string is muted that's the reason there is no reverse method in string that is why we have to use uh, uh, a a, a, a method direct method. if I want to use the direct method direct reverse method then I have to uh, pass it to the string builder otherwise it is not possible to it using string that's it okay so because this is two line code and this is like this is a bit longer right seven to eight line of code and uh, okay now I will call it here I will put mention like uh, string builder use so same thing I will do here so I just call this reverse word I can directly call it because this is a static method and I'm calling from static con constant uh, context so I do not need to use this reverse string dot reverse because this is in the same class so directly I can call it so now I will just run it and as you can see uh, okay 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 what happened exactly hmm. okay so okay that's great because uh, okay this is because happening because I am just uh, reversing the reverse word this la last word because this reverse word is currently already reversed and I'm doing again reverse reverse so it is like it is giving me the uh, original string back so I can mention this is actually working so we can just uh, reverse of the reverse of reversed reversed word using string builder okay so we just reversing back to the I mean we are just getting back our original string using this string builder reverse I hope you have understood it if you have any question just let me know thank you for watching